Hi guys, in this video I have a 2017 Honda Accord headlights. The specific headlights are LED headlights, full LED, high and low beam. The problem with this headlight, daytime running light. This, if you can see the bottom part is a separate LED, which burned out. This is a very common problem with the Honda Accord. In this video I'll show you guys how to swap out the LED. I'm gonna use a broken headlight remove the LED from the broken headlight and then swap it into the good LED headlight the broken headlight I tested it and it's working and the good LED uh, the good headlight the LED is not working and I'll swap it take a Phillips screwdriver and remove this bracket on top next step unscrew all the bolts that are holding the headlight lens to the housing To heat the headlight up, I'm using the cheapest drill master from Harbor Freight. I heat it up on high, which there's two levels of heat. One is low, one on high. And start anywhere in the headlight. Continue heating. Do not stop in one spot or else you'll burn the plastic. For about 10 minutes. All right, to take the headlight lens apart from the housing, I'll be using painter's tool. This is an inch and a quarter. Uh, I put a thick one so it's not a bendable, but make sure you get a thick one. And also I might be using a uh, regular fat, a flathead screwdriver. Sometimes, you know, I might be, I might not use it for those tabs. Oh, before we do anything, I like to remove these um, bulbs, bolts on the back, so they don't interfere with me. This is not a bulb, this is an LED, so this one doesn't remove, but that bulb, I like to remove it so it doesn't interfere with me taking the lens apart. I like to start in the front or in the corner. And uh, let's start prying. And I use my left hand to gently move the, the tabs out of the way. If you force it, you'll break them. So you keep going down the line. Don't go to don't overdo it because you'll bend the plastic. If it doesn't want to move, then uh, your 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 glue is not hot enough, so you have to heat it even more. But if it it should move easily, not too easy, but just easy enough. Continue going down the line. Move any tabs out of the way, like so. And the reason why I like to use the inch and a quarter painter's tape rather than a screwdriver. It doesn't make any kinks in the plastics or any uh, pry marks in the plastics. Continue going on the top. And also, every time when you pry, watch the, uh, the tab so you don't break them. Slowly remove it. At this stage, I could start grabbing it right here with two hands and start prying it because there's enough leverage for me to do that and once you're prying it watch the tabs like this one right here is already hitting you don't want to crack them so watch it pick it up slowly make sure it clears go to the next one slowly don't overdo it because you, you'll crack them continue going down Now also watch the bottom, just in case you're missing anything on the bottom. So there's one right here on the bottom. All right. So now the bottom, that there's two more tabs right here. That's where I like to use the screwdriver. Gently put the screwdriver inside here and pull it out. Do not overdo it because you will break this to the tab. Give it a little pressure. Push it in. And it should 
clear it. There you go. Now the same thing with that all the way at the back. Pull it out slowly. Don't don't overdo it because you'll break them. Not clearing all the way yet. There you go. It cleared. Now the last part, this last piece, instead of, do not open it up like that. Pull it back is what you want, because if you open it up, you'll break it right here. You'll break it. So in this case, you just hold this tab and pull it back like that. And then pull it back, back, back. And now you pull it out. There you go. So the last part is, is remove this plug, pinch it down, and it comes out. So the lens is off. As you can see, the DRL, that this um, this LED tube right here, the light goes through it, the shines through it. At the head head of it, it's all burned out. So we'll have to change this one too from the donor light. And as for the LED, as you can see this LED right here, it's also burnt. Only one of them is working, the other one is burnt. So we'll swap this one from the donor headlight. You could also change this board right here, this LED PCB board. You could find it at the retrofit source. I don't remember the exact price, but I believe they were 45. I might be wrong. All right, we'll need to remove the bezels inside. So we'll unscrew all the screws that need to be removed. Let's unscrew this one first. So this lens should come apart right now. Grab it from this front. So do not touch the chrome with your bare hands because if you touch, you, you put a fingerprint and you try to wipe it, the chrome will come off. The chrome does not have any protection on it, like say a clear coat or something like that. So if you take a, like a, let's say a rag on like this, if you push it too hard, it will remove it. So it's very important that you do not touch the chrome. If you do, get yourself rubber gloves. We'll remove this plastic that holds the wires in place, this plastic right here, this right here. Actually this piece right here, it's coming apart. Oh no, never mind, false news. Oh never mind, it came out. So as you can see, this whole plastic burnt inside. Next step is remove this plastic piece. There's a little tab right here. You push it, push it down right here, it comes off. The piece just pops out like that. Unplug the plug from here. So just push this thing off, up or off. Do not overdo it because you'll break it. And pull it out like that. Next step is if you can see inside the light, there's small pins right here. There's one right here, the one right there, one the bottom right here. What those pins do, they're holding the lens cover that goes around this tube. It's not a lens cover, it's like a lens. This this piece of plastic right on top of the tube, that's what it's holding it. So your goal is right now is to push down this one right here, this one tube right here, and then this one right here. Take your finger and push it down, as I did right here. It comes out, and then do the same thing with this one. Take a finger and push it down. Pull it out. So you can see this cover right here. It bulged out when I pushed it out. I'm trying not to touch the chrome at the same time.
Now grab the, the cover from this side right here and start pulling it. Pull it out right here and it pops out like, like so. If you see it popped out from here and then you pull it from the bottom. Just pull it up. And this whole piece right here is off. Now to remove this tube right here, you'll have to go on the back of it. There's a little plastic piece right here, a bit. You push that thing down and outwards. Take a flathead screwdriver and help it all the way out. The piece came off. What you do in this case, just take the tube carefully. See there's a little piece right here, which will not allow you to pull it out to the front. So you pull it through the back, slowly, pull it, pull it. Pull it out. So the tube is out. So as you can see, the, uh, the tube, the LED um, tube is out. The LED uh, tube cover is out. And now the only thing left is the blue background since this is the hybrid version, but depending on your cord, it, this will be chrome if it's uh, regular, but if you're the hybrid version, it's the blue chrome. The new rod is installed. So basically what you do is reverse the steps that I did to remove. So I installed a new rod, put the uh, screen protector for the rod back on, and uh, the back end, this as you can see, this is the new piece right here. Installed everything back on, and it's ready to be installed back inside the lens. Now to remove the LED board itself, there's two screws, one on the top, and one on the bottom right here. Move the wire out of the way. And just gently pull it out. Push the pin back in and it pops out like that. With the plug and plug, remove this thing. It's a very tight fit, so okay. I twisted it sideways and that's how it comes. So your goal is take it down, pull, uh, push it down like that and pull it out. That's how it comes out. So that's the last part that we had to change. I'll remove it from the good headlight and we'll install it back in. So here I got the burnt LED and this is the good LED board. You could definitely see that it overheated already. The new LED board is installed and ready for the headlight to be resealed. To reseal the headlights back on, I reheat this glue and install the lens back on. I heat it for about five minutes. Just take a lens and align it. Align it like so, make sure everything matches before you push it down. So this right here. And I like to push it down right here first. Push it down in here. And I like to push down in the front too. And then start clipping every clip on. Like this one's on. This clip is on. This clip is on. So just go around and start clipping all the clips. Make sure they clip on. The bottom piece needs to be pushed in a little bit more. Clip it on. So you push down and clip the clips, the housing clips. So while it's still hot, install all the screws. And 
Now go on the bottom. Unscrew this um, little cap. And you'll see right here the DRL plug. And plug it in. There you go. And install the plug back in. The last part, parking light. Install that on. And as you can see, the light sits perfectly. Make sure all these little small tabs are clicked in. All the screws are tight. This tab right here. And that's all. Then that's how you change the DRL LED on the Honda Accord headlights. Thank you for watching. If you like this kind of videos, subscribe. There'll be more coming.